The Signal All Russian Scientific and Research Institute has been functioning since the mid 1950s when a branch of the Moscow based Central Institute of Atomatics and Hydraulics was established in Kavrov to produce the first Soviet design stabilizers for tanks. Signal also developed the first indigenous automated command and control system for modern self propelled guns and rocket artillery. The enterprise is now intensively conducting some works in this area. The enterprise now produces automated command and control systems for ground troops artillery, electric and hydraulic drives, and components of command and control systems for combat rotorcraft, naval surface combatants, and other types of military hardware. In order to fit non-automated tube and mortar artillery units with automated fire control capabilities, the Signal Institute has developed the Planchette A artillery command and control system. The device provides automated fire control at battery and battalion level, regardless of unit subordination, the spontaneous deployment of combat systems on non-prepared firing positions, and counter battery maneuvers. The Planchette A automated artillery command and control system comprises the following subsystems. Four unified command and control kits for battery command, command and control platoon commander, senior battery officer, and commander of artillery platoon. Two unified crew commander's kits. Each kit is designed to automate four artillery system commanders and two auxiliary hardware kits. The system's hardware provides wireless integration of a portable computer with various reconnaissance assets, including laser target designating rangefinders, unmanned aerial vehicles, and automated meteorological devices. The number of unified kits for a battery or battalion is defined by the organic structure of a unit. The Planchette A provides information sharing between various control bodies, command and control systems, weapon system crews, various reconnaissance assets, including unmanned aerial vehicles and acoustic and thermal artillery reconnaissance stations, and meteorological complexes. The battery commanders and senior battery officers' kits integrate main portable terminals that allow sharing formalized and non-formalized information, calculate firing data, and control artillery firing processes. The gun commander's kit comprises a tactical radar, which also serves as a mobile data terminal. The components of the Planchette A can be stored in a tactical vest with MOLA interface, dramatically increasing the comfortability of its use. The Planchette A ensures an artillery control cycle of 30 seconds for an artillery battery and 50 seconds for an artillery battalion against both stationary and pop-up ground targets. Therefore, the units equipped with the Planchette A are capable of engaging any sensitive target and leaving their firing positions once the task is completed. The Planchette A artillery command and control system may be mounted on the ABC-2 armored vehicle or another types of carriers, including foreign-made ones, that meet the requirements in terms of under armor space and power supply. The ABC-2 vehicle features protection against small arms fire and fragments of artillery ammunition. Such a solution dramatically increases the combat survivability of the whole system that can be operated both on the move and at the halt. The carrier also has several racks for the components of the Planchette A. The compact layout of the Planchette A artillery command and control system allows a rapid deployment of its components. It takes no more than six minutes to set up 
a command post for a battery or an artillery battalion. When being operated on unprepared firing position, the combat deployment time doesn't exceed 9 minutes. The Planchette A conducts basic geospatial survey in no more than 2 minutes, with circle of error probable not exceeding 10 meters. The vehicle born automated workstations calculate firing data and control artillery firing processes at battery and platoon levels. Now you have a chance to see the simulation of the functioning of the Planchette A artillery command and control system. It should be mentioned that battery commander and senior battery officer can operate their workstations in remote mode. In order to improve the combat effectiveness of mortar and artillery units, the works to integrate the Planchet A with the 1B75E automated thermal and acoustic artillery reconnaissance system are being conducted. The 1B75E employs information about ammunition bursts and rod flight trajectories to find firing positions of opposing size artillery. Transferring reconnaissance data in a timely manner right to the command and control station is said to dramatically reduce reaction time and enhances the effectiveness of return fire. Moreover, the 1B75E system allows supporting allied artillery through accuracy evaluation and fire adjustment. It should be mentioned that the system is capable of functioning in passive mode. Therefore, an artillery control system of systems may be formed on the base of the Planchet A unit and the 1B75E acoustic and thermal artillery reconnaissance station. This system of systems provide a number of tactical advantages, including high survivability of artillery command and control assets, flexible architecture of artillery units, the capability of integration with various reconnaissance assets, including unmanned aerial vehicles and acoustic and thermal artillery reconnaissance stations, and in time calculation of firing data and its transfer to the commanders of deployed field artillery systems.